Federal help is on the way after all for residents who lost their homes to the Creek Fire. In less than 24 hours, the Trump administration reversed its decision of rejecting the state's disaster request. CBS 47's Dennis Valera live at Shaver Lake. And Dennis, any idea when these funds will arrive? Still not sure, Ken and Catherine, but the fact that it's coming at all, it's huge for everyone in this area. But even if FEMA didn't change course, the state was already in talks with Fresno County to help. It's amazing how hot it burns, burns down to just ash. Mark Hansen is one of the many along Aubrey Road who lost everything. His family is already working on rebuilding their home of 15 years. But even with their insurance, the cost for getting the property cleaned up is getting pricey. With California law, they, you know, you want these licensed contractors and what uh, California Fair Plan is going to pay for cleanup um, doesn't come close to the coverage of, of cleaning it up. It's why Hansen okay. is so relieved. Right. FEMA did a 180 right. and is now sending aid to help with debris clearing efforts. But before FEMA changed its mind, Assemblyman Jim Patterson said he got in contact with Cal OES, who is going to help with cleanup as well through the Recovery California Disaster Assistance Act. Patterson says the sooner the cleanup happens, the better. And we're going to see rain pretty soon, snow pretty soon. If we don't get into those uh, areas quickly, we're going to miss this window. And we're going to end up seeing mudslides uh, where this toxic debris goes into the San Joaquin River watershed. For Hansen and his family, rebuilding is an easy choice because they already know what it takes to overcome a disease. Ten-year-old uh, son seven years ago. So losing the house is it's just stuff. So it's not that bad. Now, just a reminder, there are several community funds dedicated to helping the area rebuild. A link to them will be with this story online at yourcentralvalley.com. Live in Shaver Lake, Dennis Valera, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.